Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can build a, a custom SAP workflow report to know because uh, no matter where you go that any company which uses SAP is going to use SAP workflow and 70 or 80 percent of the time they use SAP workflow is for some approval and for any approval you need a report. Uh, unfortunately, standard SAP doesn't have any uh, standard workflow report. Uh, it doesn't tell you much who approved it and all those things. So if you want a detailed information where it is stuck with, who it is with, uh, who has approved it and all those things, all the logs, you have to build a report. Now, in order to know which are the different uh, standard features, standard tables that you can use, uh, this tutorial is going to cover that portion. Okay, so first start with an example slash and me 23 n okay, and this this feature this thing that I'm talking about you can use it for any any Process that has a workflow. So here if you see this is the purchase order number And here if you go to workflow workflow overview Okay, and here we can see this is a workflow that is in process and this has been released or someone okay so we'll just go we'll we'll do a reverse engineer okay so we'll go to the workflow okay and the first thing that you can do is you want to find all the workflows that have so first thing you have to do is we have to find the workflow template number that's the most important thing workflow template number is like the program that you are executing and the different tasks or function modules that are being called from that program like uh, releasing an approve, releasing a PO, approving a PO. These are different function modules. But the main piece is the program. So workflow template number is the program. Okay, so this is the workflow template. So 2075. So the first thing, the first important table. Oops, I'm running out of uh, memory. Okay, so let me go. The first important table that we are going to do is we are going to go to very important s triple w i head first table that you go and here you will say it what item type will select and we'll say statistics very important and here i think that's it and probably i missed another piece settings and i want the rh task wi rh task uh, which is here it is hiding okay so here you just put this and i will just put here important thing i want to see if i want to see anything which is in process and which is not completed i can do one thing is i just double click on it and i select not equal to and i'll get completed okay and i put not completed and here i can find all the tasks that are not completed okay so and again this is english language so you might want to change it you know uh, so this is the first one so based on this this work item id so if i click on this this is the main workflow id okay and after this here what we can find is once we get this now you might say okay this is the workflow all the workflows that are in process okay now how will i know what is the purchase order number associated with this you can find that there is two there are lots of ways in sap you can do a lot of things sometimes the guy who builds the workflow is smart enough and puts in the description but you know it's personal choice okay but if you are doing a workflow workflow uh, development and this should be populated with a number okay this is basic thing that you should be doing this is a standard workflow for some reason uh, sap didn't do it okay so now what we are going to do is i'm going to go to another team okay or we can do one thing we can go to uh se um well we'll go to a team let's go sw obj i'm just doing it and i don't remember out of my head i think this is the one uh, this is the one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just to do. Yeah. I think this is the one. So this is the table name. Now, I'll just hit enter. 
and here here i need to know the business object the business object of the of purchase order you can easily find it out how will you know a business object of a purchase order okay and in order to show a workflow for a particular the workflow log associated with the transaction code it needs to be it needs to have a business object okay so here archive workflow and this is the business object so i get bus 2012 i'll put it here i think it will top of type id and the instance id would be this one you see i can be wrong and po and i execute and sometimes it takes some time but let's see so here you can see here you can see all this so see these are the so this is the this is the place where you can see this is top this is the top id that we got from this table okay let me put just to make sure I'll just copy this okay just go back and i'll just put it here okay i get all these two and then here i'll just take this out and i'll put ws200075 and i'll execute okay here i will know what is the PO number. so there i got the PO number now from here we can so we have the PO number we got we have the top wi id now you might say okay what are the dialog tasks that has been completed or something okay so what i can do is there is another so this table is very important it will it, it has the parent child relationship so what you can do okay here you can click on control y control c i'll just pick up all these numbers and i'll do a select on top wi id okay and here just selected this this is my top w here the dialogue type would be w these are dialogue work item that means it needs to be approved or something user intervention is required and now i'll just execute now here i will find all the stuffs that has been approved now if something is completed that means it's approved you will find you'll find the agent who completed it and when he completed it when something is not completed it will be blank now you might say okay it's not completed where it is now so it will be with some user okay in order to find that you can go to another table and again there is other function modules you can use also okay so i think uh, you can go to this table sww usr wi i think and here you put all the wi id okay and you execute oops uh, so this particular these particular workflows are not assigned to anyone that's why you are not getting so that that may happen but if you go to this particular so let me take, take an example of this one where it is assigned to someone and if i go here and i'll click on workflow log and this is the number 13168 okay so i'll put uh, 13168 i execute Oops. i don't have it here also okay a stretch okay to be is forwarded so it's, it's shoot. He, here or what was the other one? Mm. Let's see. So 
the train go here to ID okay so I think I was missing the leading zeros probably uh, so here you can see this number so for some reason this number is not showing so let me see it should show but uh, let me go to another function model. So, let's see. And okay, don't remember this is the number. found so this is not showing but here so there's some there's some problem on this but generally that table will show uh, the result uh, let me just try the last one generally this one shows but I can be wrong on a computer so function f4 okay this is good what I can recipient probably this one will help uh -huh. I'll execute Yes, no, yes, no, recipient is blank, but it says no agent found for for work item. So I think it will show if I play with it. Uh, just I'll make it, I'll activate and I'll try to execute it. And if I execute, it gets completed. So it's gone. Yes, but you, you can use this function module for sure. Or the other one but you will get the data so this is the way to build the report okay so there's lots of step s triple w user w is very important the other table is very important is w something object and s w w u s r w i is important and you can use this function model now if you want to read the workflow container there is another function model that's very important s p y p read and it's the function module you can read and here you can so if I want to read all this container data because there might be important stuff that you are storing you can always read it from by just populating control y one three one six four I'll just populate this and I'll execute and here you get all the workflow container so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.